What's up? Come in, come in, come in. Shit. What are you doing out there in the cold? Ah! Welcome to my office, everyone. Holy shit. So every year I've made a home studio video showing all the gear that I have in my home studio to make my videos. Well, this year of 2020 is a little bit different because now I have my own office. Holy shit. So I figured I would give you the tour and should basically show you behind scenes what's happening in the world of Ola. So anyway, this room right here is basically what I call uh, being the corporate asshole room. <laughs> where we sit and pretend that we know shit, basically. No, but uh, this desk right here is mine. This is where I sit and pay the bills and uh, send emails. Also, I have my gaming PC here, so this is where I play all my games now. And uh, yeah, I had this screen before. It's an ultra wide, it's amazing. And over here is where Louise sits. And that's very good for her because then she can just watch my face all the time. And you know, there's been studies basically proven that if you sit and look at my face for a long time, uh, it makes you at least 100% more happy. So uh, this is where Louise sits and over here This is where my brother sits. Now my brother is a video game designer and also a designer in general So he sits here. He has his office. He helps us pay The rent of this office. He sits here and he twitches his game developing So if you haven't checked that out, he's amazing. He also has this This arcade. It's not on right now, but you can imagine how awesome it is playing video games here. You know, we play Ghosts and Goblins and shit like that. Here we have the casting couch. This is where uh, a lot of females, you know, try their luck in the world of Ola. No, it's just a couch from Ikea. That banana has seen better days, just saying. TV, very important. PlayStation, I brought my PlayStation here so my kids can play video games while I'm working after school or whatever. So they can just come here, sit in the casting couch. It's not a casting couch, okay? It's just a couch from Ikea. And uh, oh, here's the uh, sword. My sword that my members gave me. And right in here we have a little kitchenette. Look at this. Look. Is this beautiful? I mean, look at this. My cup collection right here. You know, when you run a YouTube channel, you have to have a shit ton of cups. Oh, look at this. Will it mug? Oh, merch. Buy merch. Oh, England. Oh, drink. Oh, oh, drink coffee like this. Oh, great. And in here, this is where the love happens. Right here. This is... It's the toilet. Oh, who left the lid up? It's probably me. So there you go. That's the kitchenette for you. We have another room over here. Not sure how to use it though. It's just a it's just as a fridge and the vacuum cleaner right now. So that's the first room you get to enter when you enter this office. But now we're heading in to where the magic happens. Now, as you enter this beautiful, beautiful man cave right here, we're welcomed by this wall right here. This is a wooden wall. Remember I had a wooden wall back home in my apartment office? This is kind of like that. This is basically where I record, uh, you know, Willow Chugs and Cough with Ola, some other segments. It's just a setting that looks like this. I think it's kind of cool. Obviously, one lamp is not working. I just found out. And uh, the cool thing here is that, you know, these are basically very lightweight signs. So I can go here, you know, pick a sign from the wall, put it up. Bam. New segment. Cool, huh? But other than that, you know, I can sit here, and, you know, Talk to my colleagues about life. What's up, buddy? All good, man. How are you? Fuck you. So, it's a good spot to just sit and have a coffee if you want, or just have guests over or whatever. And then all the signs, I can put them up on the walls here. So if I just want to switch them out, I just do it. It's amazing. Obviously here we have, you know, the narcissistic logo right here. So it's a little bigger. Obviously very important for my ego. And uh, then you come to this area right here. So this is the spot basically where I sit and make music. I edit videos, you know, basically all the creative things about my job I do at this desk. And this desk is the same one I had in my uh, office in the apartment. It's the Studio Desk Beat. And uh, I think it's a really good desk. I don't really have any outboard equipment or, you know, racks or anything like that. I, it's the same audio interface, the Apogee Ensemble. That's basically what I have for racks. And then I also have this, which is the Console One and the Console One Fader from SoftTube to basically to control plugins in Logic. I've started to work a little bit with this, but I'm still waiting for them to kind of implement it into Logic, which is the plan. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be amazing. 
computer is the same, it's a Mac Mini two Acer screens, you know, for double action, like this this blue snowball microphone is for when I'm uh, streaming, basically it's a, it's a solid microphone that I can move around like this this is my little Sony camera that I use for streaming and if you're a follower on my channel, you might recognize this camera because this is the camera that I hate so much I hate with a passion for vlogging, but for just streaming at this setup, it works actually pretty good same speakers as before, I had the Denaudio Lud 8, I'm very happy with those uh, down there I have a Yamaha subwoofer, which goes really well together with these I have a smaller rack unit right here, uh, I have an Axe FX3 I have all my dime equipment down there and uh, also a torpedo reload at the bottom but as I said before, I don't really have any outboard equipment, you know, it's just, I, it's just a lot of hassle back here back over here I have my rack with all my computer gear, you know, hard drives and, and uh, stuff like that over here I have some microphones on stand, so I can quickly just bring them out for a video or so on here are uh, some of my cabinets, this is a Mesa oversized 4x12 with vintage 30 speakers in it these are my two Hesu cabinets, uh, 2x12s and right over here I also have a Fortin 4x12 cabinet with uh, V30 speakers in it and over here I have the guitar racks and basically the guitars that I have here in the racks are the guitars that I use daily, basically it might be, you know, current Solar guitar models, it might be new models there's a bass, basically just the guitars that I use for, for uh, daily use and also I have this guitar here, which is the Cough with Ola guitar which is signed with all the people that have been on my show I don't have a space to put it on the wall yet, so it's just standing here in this guitar rack and also as you can see, these panels right here are absorbers so they come in different shapes and uh, thickness so you can, you know, work yourself up a, a good solution for your environment right here and I know a lot of people are like, hey Ola, you should do this and this and this for your studio you know, it will just be a lot better but you know, this is just for me and my listening experience here kind of takes away the, uh, the flutters from clapping you know, I clap a lot, have you noticed that? but uh, I mean, I'm not designing a uh, you know, bulletproof music studio that's not what I'm doing, I'm just doing a creative space for me where I can make my music and my videos and this is more than enough for what I'm doing right here and obviously you can see the sexy curtain is still here I had a sexy curtain back in my old office I have to have it here as well these lights, same lights as before, the aperture 300D and 120D right there, they're great and awesome and also something I'm very excited about is this little IKEA roll desk that I have uh, I store all my cables down here, you know, XLR and instrument cables but also this, look how proper this is except for all the bullshit that's in the way, but look at all this these are all the charging stations for batteries and whatnot for cameras and lights and all so I'm uh, pretty proud about that, I feel like an adult when you have, you know a charging station like that and these are the cameras that I use still, you know I'm a big fan of the Panasonic GH5 so I'm using mainly that as you can see, I have one, two, three right there and I'm filming this on an S1H so obviously this is the main room where I work the absolute most but this room is amazing as well so this is basically a storage room uh, where I have all my amplifiers, all my pedals you know, all my guitars, all of this stuff was basically in storage when uh, I was working from my apartment and I, I could never play it so I think the absolute best thing about this office is just to have the space to store all my stuff because now I can just quickly, you know, grab something, go out and play it, make a video, whatever I feel a lot more creative because I can just, you know, just do something on the fly right into just, you know, if I have to plan to go to the storage unit to just pick something up so I have all my pedals and stuff over here, amplifiers, guitars over there these are things that I'm supposed to try out and make videos for over here I have all my cases and guitars that are going in and out you know, I have, you know, I have a brand called Solo Guitars so there's guitars coming in and out all the time also this, look at this this gives me a couple of points extra on the adult meter right here but basically it's a whiteboard it's for me to write up bullet points for me 
when I'm making videos because I have the worst memory and you know there's sometimes there's a lot of important information that needs to go in the video also over here there's a photo booth so if Louise needs to take pictures of the guitars she can do it in here shoves the guitar in there makes a photo looks beautiful we're done basically but I think one of the things that I'm most proud about is having you know a tech bench like this so this bench right here I can just you know put out a guitar I can do some setup work uh, change strings really quick it's just easy and it's really nice to have a setup I can just you know I'm tall I need a tall table I can stand here you know change my strings listen to some ABBA or whatever I never had something like this makes me really happy just have a setup point like this so I probably need to make another video at some point about my guitars and my amplifiers uh, because if I would go through them all it would just you know be too long of a video so that's that room and then we have this secret little room back here which is not as interesting but you know it's still a part of the office and uh, my business and it's the room where we basically shove the rest of the shit <laughs> if there's a box for a piece of gear or anything like that you can shove it in here so I have room for cables and cabling and you know boxes of bullshit and stuff like that but also here we have a packing table so as you can see here here's all the merch for feared and uh uh, my you know solo album stuff and back before when someone ordered something from our website you know I would go down to the basement and pack everything I mean here Louise can go in she takes an order she's like yep yeah, okay let's do this here's a fucking envelope here's this like like that okay maybe a little bit more gracious than that she puts it right in here there's a machine here so she's like ah, and there's a postage and she like slaps it on and just it flies out the door it's just very very convenient and very pro I must say and uh, also there's this room but this is basically just a room for me to shove in all the big boxes for the 4x12s that I have so yeah that's like an overall short tour of my office and I know a lot of people are gonna be like hey man how the fuck can you afford this or like you're so lucky to have all of this well the thing is that this has taken me more than 10 years more than 15 years probably to kind of build up for me to get to this point it has not been from one day to the other it's been something I've been building up for a long long time and it's definitely not I'm taking for granted I'm very fortunate to be able to have all of this and you know make this my my living basically and I have a lot to thank for for Sola guitars and obviously because of you guys you know watching my YouTube channel it, it makes me incredibly happy to know that I have you guys that are watching and supporting what I'm doing and I don't know if you've noticed this but since we moved here with the office I just feel a lot better because back when I you know was working in the apartment where we stayed uh, it was really hard to kind of differentiate the work life and family life and private life well now there's a disconnect where I have to go to this office to work and uh, you know I have nothing back home I only have a guitar but nothing else to be able to do work or anything like that so moving here has been one of the best things I've ever done and now that we've actually moved here I feel that we should have done it a lot sooner than we did actually so there you go that's my little video for you if you want to see more detailed videos about the guitars and the amplifiers or whatever just request in the comment section I'll look it through see if there's anything special that kind of sticks out I'll maybe make a video about that with that said thank you so much for watching you've been watching Ola flexing shit bye